is constantly changing. A year from now, new rules will alter how the game is played, new heroes will be in the game, and the most popular heroes of today might be entirely ignored in competitive play. It's impossible to know exactly what's going to happen, especially with a developer as secretive as Valve. However, we do know some of what's in store for Dota. It doesn't matter if you're a hardcore fan or if the upcoming Boston Major has you interested for the first time. Here are the big changes coming to Dota 2 that you should care about. This is the countdown to the Boston Major, delivered by Pizza Hut. When Dota 2 hit Alpha in 2010, it arrived with 24 playable heroes. Now, six years later, that number is up to 112. With the recent release of the character Underlord in August, every hero from the original Dota has finally made its way into Dota 2. So what's next? Valve has said for a few years that completely new heroes are coming to the game, and the first one is the much-anticipated Monkey King. Revealed at the International 2016, not much is yet known about the hero. He will be added to the game as part of the new Journey update this fall, which means a mid-December release around the Boston Major is quite likely. His design and namesake are based on Sun Wukong, the legendary hero from the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West. Based on his debut trailer, he seems to be an agile trickster with the ability to create illusions of himself. It's been fun waiting for the older heroes to arrive to Dota 2, but the downside was that we always knew what to expect. With the old roster filled out, we can finally see what Dota's developers create without following a blueprint. Dota has been in version 6.88 since June, a few months before TI6. Yes, as of October, we're up to version 6.88F, but still, this meta has been a long one, and there's a reason for that. At TI6, a whopping 105 of the 110 available heroes were picked, a larger percentage than we've ever seen before. This is a sign of a healthy meta, not a meta where one or two strategies or lineups dominate the battlefield. Metas shift to keep the game new and interesting, but Valve has landed on a patch where even at the highest level of play, tons of heroes are viable. Patch 6.89 will be an interesting one when it inevitably gets here. Until then, the Boston Major will be played on 6.88, and it will be the last major tournament to have that honor. Unlike how Riot handles League of Legends, Valve has a much more hands-off approach to Dota 2 when it comes to esports coverage and pulling the curtains aside. While that likely won't change in the near future, a new documentary series by Valve called True Sight could be a sign of even bigger things to come. In 2014, Valve released a documentary called Free to Play, which showed us the build-up to the first ever international from the perspective of three players. Now with True Sight, they're lifting the fog on the process of building a top-tier Dota team in the lead-up to the Boston Major. They're only two episodes in, but the results are fantastic, and we're hoping Valve continues this trend for all major tournaments in 2017. New heroes and patches are inevitable, but now that we have all the original Dota heroes and one of the most solid metas ever, it'll be interesting to see what Valve does throughout the 2016-2017 season. For now, the Boston Major will be the last big tournament played on one of the best Dota patches ever, so don't miss it. And if you're looking to brush up on your own Dota skills and style, check this link for a chance to win some gaming gear. Pizza Hut is sponsoring some awesome prize packs, including things like keyboards, mice, a gaming laptop, and a lovely new pizza hat. I want one of those pizza hats, I'm serious, save it for me, okay? Anyway, for more on Dota 2 and the Boston Major, keep it right here all week on IGN.